Hey guys, I'd like to show you how to use the Amazon Echo uh, with a IFT recipe to send an event to the Particle I.O. internet button. So I'm going to assume you have your Amazon Echo set up and I'm going to assume you've got the internet button already set up. Um, that this video is not a tutorial on how to set those up. So assuming you, um, you have your internet button set up, let me just show you the code for the internet button. It's really pretty easy. So I, I created an app called Rainbow and I included the internet button library and first thing we're going to do is uh, instantiate the internet button. I call it B. I declare my uh, event handler uh, on rainbow handler. It takes two uh, parameters, a string event and string data. I don't use them in this particular uh, event handler but you have to define them as part of the signature. So then you get the rainbow to show on the internet button. It's just B.Rainbow and you give it a time delay and when it's all done I'm just going to turn all the LEDs off. Alright, so then um, particle I.O., there's really just two routines you implement. One is setup, one is loop. In the setup, the first thing you got to do is a b.begin. That initializes the internet button. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, when I start it up, show the rainbow just so I can see that it is, in fact, working. And then what I do is I do a particle.subscribe. This is where I'm subscribing to an event called show rainbow. And if I ever receive that event, I'm going to call the on rainbow handler which I just talked about and I'm only interested in that event from my devices and the loop doesn't really do anything I put in a delay but you don't really have to do anything uh, in the loop and that's really it um, for the particle I.O. and I've already flashed this down so I'm not going to go through the flashing of it but if you needed to flash it it's this little uh, lightning bolt over here so let's set up the if recipe so let me head over to my uh, recipes and we'll go ahead and create one on the this side it's going to be the Amazon Alexa in this case, I'm going to use the say a specific phrase. So when I say uh, rainbow, that's going to be the trigger. And the that side of it is going to be particle. And again, I'm assuming you've signed in the in your IFT account. You've signed into um, Amazon and particle. So we're going to publish an event whenever it says that. And that's going to be show rainbow. I'm not going to include any data in this case, and in this case it's going to be a private event. And I go ahead and I create that action. And that looks good when I say trigger rainbow. And that's sort of the, so for the Alexa to work and trigger if recipes, um, the phrase is always Alexa, trigger, and then whatever you gave the name you gave the trigger. So let's go ahead and create that. So um, and she's actually, you can probably hear in the background, she's listening to me. All right, <coughs> let's give this a try. And Alexa, trigger rainbow. And there you go. That's how you set it up to have the uh, Amazon Alexa uh, trigger an IFT recipe to send an event to a particle I.O. internet button. It's pretty cool.